وأيام أفطرتها يا حسرتاه على أوقات أهدرتها يا حسرتاه على ذنوب ارتكبتها وفواحش اقترفتها يا حسرتاه يوم لم يلهج لساني بذكره ولم تقم جوارحي بشكره يا حسرتاه Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, don't forget to subscribe. You can also check out our other works like um, vlogs on Fanny and Jesse 2.0. We'll be having, we'll be dropping a video there soon. Um, we also have a pod podcast. You can check us out. Diving in with Fanny and Jesse, and yeah, this channel is meant just for reactions. If you want to, if you want us to react to anything or see something, you can just leave it down in the comment section below. You can discuss with us, give us your opinions, correct us where we're wrong, educate us, just give us more information and the like. Today, I'm going to be reacting to very emotional Sheikh Khalid Al Rashid with English subtitles. I hope I said that right. I really hope I said that right and a big shout out to the person that suggested this was so grateful for the people that suggest things that comment that like that share and of course the people that and the people that just subscribe you guys keep us busy which we like being we're not complaining really we really really like it so yeah without wasting any time let's get into the video وأنت نعم أنت إياك أعني أما آن أنت توب أما آن أنت توب وتستغفر علام الغيوب أما آن أن تنضم إلى قوافل العائدين أما آن لما أنت فيه متاب وهل لك من بعد الغياب إياب تقضت بك الأعمار في غير طاعة سوى عمل ترجوه وهو سراب هلك المسوفون والمسوف الذي يقول سأتوب وهو مصر على الدم كم قلت له كم ستعيش عشرين ثلاثين بل ثمانين ثم ماذا لا بد من الرحيل من دار الغرور طالت بك الأيام أم قصرت عنك الليالي يا للهول يا للمصيبة لقد ذهبت تلك اللذات وانقضت تلك الحسرات فلم يبقى إلا الآلام والحسرات وحسرتاه على أصحاب لم ينفعوا وحسرتاه على أحباب لم يشفعوا يا حسرتاه يوم طال السهر ولم أعد زادا للحفر يا حسرتاه على عمر مضى وزمان ولا وانقضى ولم أتقي فيه حر نظى يا حسرتاه على صلاة أضعتها وزكاة منعتها وأيام أفطرتها يا حسرتاه على أوقات أهدرتها يا حسرتاه على ذنوب ارتكبتها وفواحش اقترفتها يا حسرتاه يوم لم يلهج لساني بذكره ولم تقم جوارحي بشكره يا حسرتاه يوم يفوز الصالحون بالدرجات يا حسرتاه يوم يفوي الظالمون في الدركات قال سبحانه وأنذرهم يوم الحزن إذ قضي الأمر وهم في غفلة وهم لا يؤمنون إنا نحن نريث الأرض ومن عليها وإلينا يرجعون لقد ذهبت تلك اللذات وانقضت تلك المسرات فلم يبقى إلا الآلام والحسرات لم يبقى إلا الآثام والأوزار والتبعات تفنى اللذاذة ممن ذات خطوتها من الحرام ويبقى الإثم والعار تبقى عواقب سوء في مغبتها لا خير في لذة من بعدها النار قال سبحانه إن الله يحب التوابين ويحب المتطهرين وقال جل في علا فاتحا أبواب الرحمة قل يا عبادي الذين أسرفوا على أنفسهم لا تقرضوا من رحمة الله إن الله يغفر الذنوب جميعا إنه هو الغفور الرحيم وقال جل في علا إلا من تاب وآمن وعمل عملا صالحا فأولئك يبدل الله سيئاته حسنا وكان الله غفورا رحيما فاللهم يا من 
وسعت رحمته كل شيء ارحم عمك الضعيف المسكين يا ربي إن عظمت ذنوبي كثرة فلقد علمت بأن عفوك أعظم إن كان لا يرجوك إلا محسن فبمن يلوذ ويستجير المجرم ما لي إليك وسيلة إلا الرجاء وجميل عفوك ثم أني مسلم والرب أدعو مخلصا أنت رجائي أبغ إلهي جنة فيها هنائي said a big shout out to the person that suggested this video um it's insane the, the world we live in is just insane when is it the right time to repent what do you guys think is the right time to repent because i'm thinking so we're being told we're living in the end, end times yes if we're living in the end times people should be repenting but then it doesn't mean the end will be tomorrow. It doesn't mean the end will be 60 years from now. It can be any day, any time, no one knows. So when is it just the right time? At the, on, at the end, of, I think we've been given, there's so much information out there that's saying, repent now. No one knows when the end actually comes, but there's video saying, we're moving towards the end like we've reacted to videos like signs of end days or something of the end days to come or something like that so we've got all those videos showing us how the world is distracting itself how we're distracting ourselves how we're just losing it in this world we've got droughts we've got wars we've got so many things happening and here we are still doing the wrong here we are still not wanting to believe when is it the right time to turn around your life and give it to god do you have to wait till the last minute when you're dying do you have to wait till your sick bed or something i don't know help me understand it's just it's it's really really sad <coughs> it's very sad that we have to we have to be so narrow-minded we're so arrogant everything has been given to us but we don't want to listen everything we've been told everything not everything everything but we've got the information prepare yourself repent do good choose the godly way but here we are still living the way we choose to leave which is i don't know i guess time will catch up with us i just hope people i really hope people see see the truth see the truth in whatever you believe in follow the right path we're living in a world where we're constantly told that the lord forgives us no matter what sin so why should you shy away i think i've said this why should you shy away from actually asking for forgiveness when you've done something bad because god is a merciful god he's going to forgive us as long as we go to him and cry out he's going to forgive us if we want something he's going to grant us whatever we want so at the end of the day i'm just thinking we should really sit down take time out and just think about it when is it the right time for me to repent or to change my life and live it according to god like i keep on saying no one knows the right time when this world will end no one knows not the prophets knew not no one knew all of us are just going to be taken i guess by surprise but then we've got the signs and look at the world we're living in look at the way you're living life those are all signs that you have to take into consideration 
take those into consideration and decide what you want to do with your life also i always say educate others as well make them see the good in what you believe in don't bombard them by saying they're wrong for believing what they believe make them see the good in the thing that you believe in so that they can also see the good that you're seeing so that both of you see the good i hope that makes sense anyway like i said i was reacting to very emotional shy khalid our rashid with english subtitles a big big shout out to the person that requested this this was a very very amazing video i can't i can't even i don't know everything is in the video everything is there it's very very sad but oh, we we'll have to choose the way we we'll have to look at the way we're living life guys if you're new to this channel make sure to give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video